Ann Spence, your Chief Encouragement Officer, back with Moving the Chains. Whose turn is it? So often we find ourselves, we have waited for that appointment with that client we've been chasing forever. We finally get the appointment, they agree to accept a quote, and we send it, we're so fired up, and then we follow up, we leave a voice message, we call them early in the morning, we send an email, and crickets. And now we're frustrated because this has now become a difficult person to get a hold of. When you are finishing a conversation or a meeting or an appointment, whether this is personal or professional, have clear next steps. Clear next steps define who's doing what, whose turn is it to make the next move, and it makes our lives easier by setting those boundaries. So make sure if you are going to send that quote, you say, I'll be happy to send the quote, I'll have it to you by tomorrow afternoon. When do you think you'll have a chance to review it? While we're here and you've got your calendar in front of you, why don't we go ahead and set up a, a follow-up appointment, phone call, whatever it is. Let's go ahead and set that up now so that we can discuss the estimate, I can answer any questions, and we can decide where we're going from there. I certainly don't want to bug you and chase you if this is not a good fit, but for now, let's just go ahead and set that next step. By doing that, you'll both know, giving each other the respect of what whose turn it is, to make the next appointment, whose play it is, and that will keep things moving with no ambiguity. So folks, remember, there's not enough raindrops in the rainforest to keep you from reaching your goals.